Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of season. It's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 8th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we did fall towards the 50 moving average. And in the end of the session, we basically uh, rallied so we are down in the nasdaq yeah, scroll down here uh, roughly half a percent at this point and we have had um, five days of consecutive uh, con uh, a constant drop in the nasdaq so 50 moving average trading down here at roughly 11.3k if this draw if this basically breaks it then we may go back towards the very lows here of 10.6 uh, 10.5k that's taking the lows of of october if we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish at this point, has crossed the signal line, the R stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, and there's a lot of room to the downside. We may see uh, a rally before um, continuing lower, but dropping below the 50 or the red candlestick kind of below, below here, that kind of is a warning sign that we are going to see lower levels. To the upside, 200 moving average, most likely in traveling in this direction, if we rally to that point in the past, if we scroll back, we have seen that we have rallied above and also near the 200 moving average and gotten rejected. We are still in a in a downward trend. This nothing really has um, changed here. So even though we see a rally here, it is very likely that we are going to see um, selling pressure occurring when we get to towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, similar story here, 200 moving average or the area of the 200 moving average has been significant in the past. And it looks like history is just repeating itself. We are still within uh, this downward trend and getting close to, that was terrible. Um, here, we tested it three times now. And it looks like we are about to just continue uh, this uh, downward move to the downside. The lows here of October is 3,492, give or take, and breaking below the 50 moving average, which we are um, most likely going to test within the next few trading days. Uh, that will probably open the door back towards the, the very lows, as this looks just, just like a continuation of the moves that we have seen for 2022. Breaking above the 200 moving average uh, or the upper trend line that opens the door back towards the highs here of 3,000, uh, first of all, uh, 4,200, then 4,300, uh, and then beyond that. If that takes the curse, then we most likely see a uh, uh, trend change in the SP 500. If you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is still is bearish at this point. It has crossed the signal line in bullish territory. So the casting is bearish and RSI is also bearish. And there's a lot of room still to the downside. So let's look at uh, Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has been far more bullish than the other uh, Europe, uh, U, uh, US indices. and But we're still within a range here that has been significant in the past and we tested it and got rejected. And usually that is not a very good sign. At this point, we are dropping and heading towards the 200 moving average, which is most likely gonna move in this direction. If we continue rallying, then we'll most likely see a crossing here of the 50 and the 200. And if that occurs, then that's a very positive sign uh, going forward, because then we're most likely gonna see something similar to this a bounce from the 200 or the 50 and then go going uh, basically becoming positive going forward if we break below the 50 moving average and the 200 then we may see this market we tested the lows yet, yet again of october which is down here roughly 28k macd is still bullish not bearish and the stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the downside so let's look at the european markets european market is starting to look like very dreadful. We are, we have been testing this area for quite some time. And if you look historically, this is also where we uh, tested this area in the past and got rejected. Here we rallied, got rejected, rallied, got rejected. And now we see another rally. It tried to get above this level, could not manage that. And it looks like 
we are going to at least test the 200 moving average if we can get a bounce from there and as a bullish sign uh, if we have a crossing of the 50 and the, and the 200 moving average that is also bullish sign but breaking below these two moving averages that really opens the door to the very lows of october which is down at 11.8k give or take macd bearish stochastic is bearish and also the rsi is bearish so momentum is definitely to the downside at this point so let's look at the nikkei nikkei did um break out of this upper channel that we were in testing the 200 moving average uh twice recently but we have a cross gear of the 15 and 200. usually that is a, it's a bullish line we have seen, yeah. seen it several times in the in the past but breaking below these two moving average that could really open the door to the very lows of 25k if us and european stock markets go to um, start falling then we'll mostly see the same thing for uh, the nikkei we have seen the highs of roughly 28 29k and the lows of 25 we tested tested it several times uh, this year and it looks like we are just continuing continuing within the same range selling the highs buying the lows that has been um, the game of uh, for the nikkei uh, for 2022 if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish we've not seen a massive drop like we saw here yet this was a very negative candlestick warning sign uh, but we have not seen for example these kinds of moves uh, recently but still interest rates decisions are coming up and those will have significant uh, importance for this market so let's look at the vix vix it looks like is turning around we can see that we have had a massive drop in the vix in the recent uh, month or months and at the moment we are testing uh, the uh, 20 simple moving average and um, yes it looks like a continuation of what we have been seeing for 2022 similar what we saw in basically in the summer also here saw something similar to that and after each drop we have these massive spikes to the upside and all of these spikes have basically been uh, where the market has uh, fallen off a cliff so the lows has been roughly 20 uh, 19 to 20 uh, 20 up towards uh, 30 34 uh, so at this current stage looks like we are about to enter the next few months where we'll see something similar to this where the range will still can continue breaking below here well that opens the door to significantly lower levels and and uh, markets will rise going back to the highs markets will uh, fall if you look at technical indicators they do uh, support this theory that uh, macd is becoming bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is also bullish after being significantly oversold so let's look at the tenure tenure continues to drop and as long as it does that markets will still rally so we are down 2.6 percent today and still looks like we are going to test the 200 moving average if we are going to bounce from this market we are still at the lower part of this range so we may see this market bounce towards the highs before going lower uh, but if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bearish it's bearish. 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 also bearish and we are 31 we are on the edge of being oversold and therefore we probably will see a few days where this was rally will rally and that will be negative for uh, especially stocks as interest rates are expected to rise so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new newest videos and please do your own due diligence before trading in the markets good luck and thank you very much